Welcome to the three official system, two referee, one linesman training program. This unique system utilizes the standard three official system, but instead of offering only one referee, it maximizes the amount of eyes that can monitor play by using two referees and a single linesman. By utilizing two referees, the intent is to provide better sight lines to obtain better views of potential penalty situations. It's also intended to help deter players from taking penalties by increasing the amount of officials empowered to make infraction calls. Much like a police officer sitting on the side of the road, people tend to adjust their actions so as not to incur a violation. This type of management can help play keep moving continuously. In a way, by increasing the amount of officials who can call penalties, you can decrease the amount of whistles and infractions during the game. This video will focus on referee duties, linesman duties, positioning, icing, and offsides. In this system, the duties of the referee are slightly expanded. Referees are still expected to call goals and assists and to report the same to the scorekeeper. Here, however, while one referee is occupied with his reporting, the other referee can keep a watchful eye on the players and hold the benches, much like in the four official system. Referees are still encouraged to communicate with players to help manage the game. Penalties alone cannot keep control of a game when it starts to go bad. In this system, referees skate in the referee lanes as a team, just like in the two official system. While one works the goal line, the other is out by the blue line. If the deep referee needs to transition behind the goal cage, the back referee does not need to immediately transition to the other side. Rather, he or she can wait and if play works back out of the attacking zone, the deep referee can transition back to their original side behind the play. The most important aspect is to stay out of the way of play whenever possible, and to always work on improving your sight lines. When a penalty is assessed, it is not necessary for the linesman to escort the penalized player to the box unless that player becomes disruptive. The linesman should retrieve the puck and immediately mark the face-off location. The linesman can be assured that the other referee is keeping a watchful eye on players and holding the benches. Referees will also take on some of the linesman duties throughout the game such as completing icing and making offside calls occasionally. The unique part of this system is that it utilizes a single linesman. The linesman is responsible for calling all offsides and fractions with very few exceptions, initiating all icing calls but not completing them, and conducting all face-offs to include at the beginning of periods and after goals. In this system there is a great deal of cooperation between the linesman and the two referees. In fact, referees will assume some of the linesman's duties throughout the course of the game. This is because a single linesman cannot always get to or be in the best position as play progresses through the neutral zone. When play is in the neutral zone, the linesman should be near the center red line while the referees assume positions on both blue lines. When play enters the attacking zone, the linesman will then take up a position on the blue line. And when play is stopped, the linesman will get between players with the nearest referee, while the back referee keeps an eye on players and records any infractions. Although the linesman follows play, they primarily skate from blue line to blue line. There's no rush for the linesman to get ahead of play to make an on or off sides call, since the referee will already be there and in position to make the first call at the blue line.
During an end zone faceoff, the back referee will assume and hold the blue line until the linesman can get into position and release the referee. The blue line will then become theirs. Despite these few modifications, the duties of the linesmen in this system remain the same. To call offsides, icings, hand passes, high sticks, too many men, and puck out of play. During a penalty situation, the linesmen should retrieve their own puck and set up for the face-off. This will allow one referee to assess the penalty while the other holds the benches and watches players. For the mechanics of icing in this system, the deep referee is imperative. Icing will be completed in conjunction with both the linesman and that referee. For this reason, all of the on-ice officials must stay alert to potential icing situations. When icing occurs, it is the responsibility of the linesman to initiate the icing by raising their arm and verbalizing to the other officials. In order for icing to be completed, the deep referee will blow the whistle and signal the icing once the puck crosses the goal line. The same criteria for icing applies in this system. The linesmen, upon completion of the icing infraction, will skate backward to mark the face-off location while the deep referee retrieves and delivers their puck. Offsides can be called either by the linesmen if they are in position and the line is theirs, or by the referees if they still have the line and are awaiting play to cross over into the attacking zone. This system encourages the linesmen to hold their line, allowing both referees to call penalties and to manage the game. As soon as play breaks out of the zone, it is the referee in the neutral zone who backs up and assumes the position on the upcoming blue line. The first call at the line will belong to the referee, at which time they will follow play into the zone. Referees are discouraged from making signals at the blue line, but rather verbalization only unless there's a close play at the line and the players need clarification. The linesman then assumes his or her position at the blue line and all subsequent calls will belong to them. This way the linesman does not have to rush from line to line and risk getting involved in play, and the lines are always covered. Otherwise it is the linesman's responsibility to signal all delayed offsides and to direct players to face-off locations. Linesmen do not retrieve their own pucks. Rather, the referee closest to the puck shall retrieve it and skate it to the face-off location. The linesman should skate immediately to mark this location so that players may assemble quickly. <laughs> 